During a difficult birth, it sometimes becomes necessary for the father to make an impossible choice, to sacrifice one or to lose them both. There is a chance that we can save the child. Hopefully for none of us, we will ever have to come to a choice that we have to make where someone is going to live and die by our hand or the risk of not doing anything where both the baby and his wife might die as well. It's one of these things that it's a really hard thing to even grasp because very few of us are ever in those positions where people have to live and die by our own decisions. And the weight of that falls very heavily on us. It leaves us with feelings of guilt and regret and often changes the way that we see ourselves. The world isn't as sweet and rosy. We often lie to ourselves about who we are and make ourselves feel better or worse than what is really the truth. That keeps staying with us and often will replay itself over and over again in our head in the hopes that we could have made a different decision. And that feeling of regret and that survivor's guilt is a horrible thing to have to deal with day to day because you can't even share it because no one else can understand really how you feel. So you deal with it all alone. You're going to bring the babe out now. I love you. What's you? No, it's all right. Mm -hmm. I love that he stays with her. I think that for many of us, especially when we have to make this these horrible decisions, we may want to run, to avoid it, not have to be able to face it. But he stays by her side to try to comfort her, even though she's going to have to go through something so horrible that is by his decision. And that feeling of her being afraid and not really knowing what's happening, it's just so palpable. I think that most of us could really feel that loss of power when they pulled her down from the bed against her will without even preparing her. That feeling of helplessness really adds to our feelings of anxiety because for most people, that's what they're anxious about. The unknown, having to go through something and we don't know what could happen or what the outcome could be. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. They're going to break the paper. No, no, no. I'm making the no. first incision. And for him having to go through that, he's made this decision and it's kind of set in stone. No, I don't know what I would have made if I was in his position. Like mathematically, it made more sense. The chance to possibly have one person live versus both people die. The maester didn't even say that there was a chance to save her life. And so for Viserys, it was really save the baby or possibly lose both of them. To see how graphic this was and how much distress she's in, like perhaps if he knew that, he might have made a different decision. But People can make judgments on what they think is right, but they weren't actually there. And you often don't have that much time, especially when you're really stressed, to be able to make the proper assessment, to be able to look at all the angles. It's really easy for people to analyze things afterwards and say A, B, and C are what should have happened. But when you have to make split second decisions, you do the best you can with the tools and knowledge you have at hand at the time. Congratulations, Your Grace. You have a son. A new heir, Your Grace. And the feeling of grief that he got everything that he had hoped for, but without the person that he wanted to have that with. Grief is such an insidious and difficult thing to deal with because during times of mourning, we talk about those stages of grief, denial, anger, bargaining, depression, acceptance, but not everyone goes through those stages and everyone grieves completely differently. And you wanna be able to be accepting of that, that just because you may not grieve the same way as someone else, it doesn't make it wrong. And because it's so complex and it's so hard for us to be able to say goodbye to people, you want to be able to give other people the understanding and space that it may not be your way, but that's okay. I thought you might go to him, offer him comfort. Prince Damon bought out one of the pleasure houses, styling him the heir for a day. 
And when you're in stages of grief, it's so much easier to be manipulated because your brain is slightly wiped out. When we're dealing with really intense emotions, the cognitive part of our brain is numbed. And so that's why you should never make really big decisions when you're really angry, really happy, or really sad. You will address me as your grace or I will have my king's guard cut out your tongue. The air for a day. Did you say it? We must all mourn in our own way, your grace. Just because it isn't your way or you don't understand it, it doesn't mean that the intentions were bad. I think that Damon really gets a bad rap because we got to see him really mourning and being sad and upset and wanting the best for his brother even at his own cost, which shows how much he really does care. My family has just been destroyed. You chose to celebrate your own rise, laughing with your and your leg spittles! When we have all of this pain that is built inside of us for Viserys, we often project that onto the world, onto anything. We need to let it out. And in this case, Daemon makes that perfect placeholder because he's already done all kinds of horrible things. And someone's already whispered in the king's ear that he's spoken badly about you. He's reveling in your pain. And so it makes this perfect storm of he's able to project all of his hurt onto Daemon instead of the real reason for the fact that his wife died. And we often do that when we're feeling a lot of pain and a lot of hurt. We can lash out at people that don't deserve it just because it's so hard to keep it all inside of us. It's easier to have something else, something that is tangible that we can be angry at. I'm your heir. Not anymore. You are to return to Runestone and your lady wife at once. By order of your king. And it goes without saying, because you're in so much pain, because your brain is foggy, you should never be making really big decisions when you're in periods of intense emotional distress. Sometimes you're gonna regret them and you can't turn back upon them. He set something in motion that's gonna be really hard to be able to pull back. And in this case, I would say that it's misguided. Not all of us can depend on a dragon to keep us out of trouble. Some of us have to rely on our wits. Why don't you prepare yourself with today's sponsor, Brilliant, where you can gain an understanding of the basics of computer science, physics, quantum mechanics, game theory, and everything you need to be prepared for whatever the world may throw your way. Brilliant is an amazing tool for learning STEM interactively, so if you want to learn more about science, technology, engineering, mathematics, just check out Brilliant's growing catalog of courses. They're specifically crafted to help you learn concepts by working through them yourself in visual, hands-on ways, and all the lessons are presented in bite-sized pieces so you can learn at your own pace, no pressure. And if you ever feel stuck, Brilliant has in-depth explanations that help you break down the material even more. Like their course on logic, with challenging problem-solving exercises, you'll construct those critical thinking skills that are the basics for mathematical reasoning and scientific thinking. Open your eyes to the world around you by solving puzzles with science, and in it you'll explore the laws of physics and principles of engineering, and learn the rules as you play. You'll explore concepts and solve problems interactively. So to get started for free, visit brilliant.org slash georgiadow or click on the link in the description. The first 200 people will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. So just click on the button on the screen or head on over to brilliant.org slash Georgia Dow. Clicking on the button really does help my channel. These were my heartfelt moments with Viserys. You can let me know what yours were and what kind of choice would you be able to make? Was it as heartfelt for you as it was for me? And if you like this video or learned something or found it helpful, please hit subscribe and please share it with others. It's a wonderful way for people to find out about my channel. Thanks.